a meeting on rejuvenation and restoration of the major rivers of Shillong, Waum Kra, Waum Shirpi and Waum Ken was held today at Yojana Bhavan, which was attended by Chief Minister Konrad Sangma, Deputy Chief Minister Sngyao Bhalangdhar, Minister A.L. Heck, Chief Secretary D.P. Walang, senior officials, members of Darbar Shnongs and representatives from different civil bodies. In his remark, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma said that the objective of the meeting was to identify the, the critical gaps and devise a future action plan and the way forward in rejuvenation and restoration of the three important rivers of Shillong. Chief Secretary D.P. Walang in his presentation said that there are NGT and court directives to address the issue of pollution of the rivers. He also informed that Waumkra and Umshurpi are among the 45 most polluted rivers of the country as listed by the NGT. He called upon the active participation of the community and different stakeholders like KHADC, Doba Shnong and civil society organizations in awareness and mobilization. Members of different organizations and bodies later actively participated in the interactive session. So today we had a very huge consultation between the different government agencies and departments along with uh, the headmen, along with the civil society groups, along with the NGOs who are concerned about the environment. The agenda basically was on the three rivers in the city, that is Umkra River, uh, um Ken River and Um Shirpi River. We had a very constructive uh, uh, meeting in which uh, the Honorable Chief Minister, the Deputy Chief Minister in charge of Urban Affairs and also Minister from, uh, was the MLA from uh, Panthoram Kra, which is uh, one of the uh, main basin uh, area of uh, Um Kra, was also pre were also present. And uh, a number of decisions were taken. We highlighted uh, that uh, what is the present scenario of the rivers the three of them and also uh, what the uh, NGT orders uh, pertaining to these rivers uh, were and what action has been taken the gaps uh, in the action that we have been uh, we have been taking also uh, discussed and uh, also what will be the role of uh, all of us as uh, stakeholders the basic point and the basic focus was basically on a collective uh, responsibility and also working together with uh, uh, one objective and that is to clean up Umkra, to clean up uh, Um Shirpi and Um Ken which will be the future source of uh, water supply scheme in uh, New Shillong. So we had a very good meeting, all of us uh, were in uh, uh, one mind and uh, unanimously uh, we <coughs> agreed that we should work together with the various agencies and the uh, civil society groups and uh, the headmen. And I'm sure that uh, concrete results will be visible very soon. In fact, uh, in my presentation, it was very clear. I had, uh, you know, uh, shown the drone uh, images of uh, Wamkra right from the source up to Maulai area, and also Umshirpi uh, right from the source up to the Umshirpi bridge. And uh, over there, we have seen uh, concrete evidence of uh, direct discharge into the rivers. The uh, first meeting that we had internally was on the 6th of April and that was the meeting in which we decided we have to consult all the uh, other stakeholders and make it a, a bigger collective body. And uh, since the last one week, we have uh, imposed hefty penalty. In fact, anyone discharging directly into the rivers and anyone having faulty septic tanks and defective septic tanks, if they don't repair in 10 days time, a uh, fine will be imposed at the rate of 500 rupees per day. Not one time, 500 rupees per day till they seal the septic tank or they ensure that the discharge is not uh, made uh, directly into the water bodies. So a uh, lot of decisions have been taken on the 6th uh, April meeting and also in today's meeting in which I highlighted to all the uh, headmen, to all the uh, environmental groups what uh, action has been taken. It is time we all wake up, the situation is alarming and it is, it is a collective effort only which will see us through. And there are two cases pertaining to uh, NGT and uh, I have highlighted both the cases uh, in today's meeting and also shared the operative uh, part of the order. In fact, uh, there is no order for dismantling the structures but uh, the order basically is for ensuring that uh, you know, uh, the liquid waste is not discharged directly into the rivers. So in the presentation I made today, 32 uh, uh, areas have been identified, uh, 20 along Wamkra and uh, 12 along the uh, Umshirpi. They are known as the fall-off areas in which we need to set up STPs 
and five of them have already been uh, set up now and under construction I mean and the remaining we are looking for land wherever government land is available we'll set up these STPs if not we have asked for the cooperation of the local Dabars to give us land so that we'll set up these STPs as per the direction of NGT.